Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. We are on day three here on Lapis Lakeside. We're starting off with 20 diamonds, a very good way to start the day. And let's see what else we can get up to. We can grab our 100 sleep points. And we can also see our 13,488 sneaky snacking all at the same time. And that puts us at 2,209 sleep points. Slowly building up uh, some more points to probably buy another Master Biscuit for when Ryko comes later this month. And we can grab our daily lottery, hopefully another biscuit. Some more diamonds, I'll take that, nothing wrong with that. Those diamonds will also come in handy. And let's see, let's jump into this sleep report. We are just now hitting grade two, I believe. Yes. So grade two is where we can first see Dedenne, uh, whenever Dedenne is available later on this month. So that took us, today is Wednesday. So it took a couple days to get there. So maybe depending on how the rest of the week goes is if we can get a decent amount of drowsy power score maybe it will be worth it but wednesday let's see when is the dinner is that next week i'm drawing a blank on when that is i'll check but let's go <clears throat> excuse me that is not what i meant to do i meant to go into the sleep report Session 221, and we have nine hours and 19 minutes of sleep. Somehow, accidentally turned my alarm off. Uh, yeah, you can see right, uh, oh, nope, right around there. Accidentally turned my alarm off and still woke up at a decent time. Got lucky there. 11% dozing and 53% snoozing with 36% slumbering. Not bad at all. That is good for the snoozing type which maybe Ralts if I remember correctly. Hopefully we can get like 10 million at least. Okay, we did get 10, 12, 12.1 million, not too bad. So with great to Dedenne, I believe the one star sleep style is seven million, seven mil something, somewhere around there. So it is enough for one shot at it whenever it does roll around. So maybe, maybe Lapis will be viable, even if we can't get too high. <laughs> That's probably a big uh, per drowsy power purchase right there. That's slow, bro. Let's see. I think we had five spawns, so that should be one new sleep style. We got Wobbuffet, Meowth, Eevee, and Slowbro. Yeah, there is one more. Where are you? Oh, uh, they're starting to show up on the left side now. <gasps> Ooh, Curlia. Okay. That is uh, definitely one we need. Definitely the first one that we have seen as well. This Pokemon spins and dances when it's feeling happy on sunny mornings. If you see a Curlia dancing while it sleeps, it may be having a premonition of a fun future in its dreams. That is actually, is that the first of the Ralts line? No, I think we did find a Ralts at one point. And the Curly is hungry. You know what? We might, we might just be cheeky. How much does it take? Ooh, it takes a lot to take a Curly at home. But you know what? We're, we're just gonna try it. We're gonna see what happens. Ooh, just a big hit, not quite the critical. Now the question is, do we feed it biscuits to take it home? And I'm thinking no. Maybe? Let's see, what do we got? Mm, maybe. Let's see, we'll give it one, we'll see what happens. Maybe two? Mm, not full. Uh, this might be really dumb. This might be really dumb, but something's telling me to do it. Something is telling me to try. Mm, okay, well, we can take it home. 
Now we just gotta hope that it actually turned out to be a good idea. With my luck, it'll have all the worst skills possible. It'll have a terrible nature, it'll have terrible sub skills, that's all we're gonna do today because this thing's gonna turn out to be awful anyway. And you know, if we keep saying how bad it's gonna be, it'll prove us wrong and it'll actually be 100%. So, you know, that's the plan, but it is gonna be terrible. It's gonna be a, like a 5%er. Yeah, that's that's just sadly what it's gonna be. We're gonna grab 620 research XP today with 1,197 dream shards. Very nice. And then we've got uh, a Curlia. It's male. Don't think that actually matters for Gardevoir. All right, let's see. So we've got apples, corn, apples, which skill specialists, so not the the worst thing. Uh, energy for everyone, which is what we like to see. Skill level up S is a good start. Helping bonus is also a great start. Energy recovery bonus is good for a utility Pokemon. Skill trigger S, also good. And Ingredient Finder M, really Ingredient Finder and even potentially Energy Recovery Bonus are really the only two bad sub skills. But then we've got Brave, which is speed of help up and XP gains down. Also not bad for a skill specialist. So now the question is, let's go ahead and drop that to a zero evolution count because we have not evolved it at all. So let's see. How good this turns out to be. Oh, I meant to mark that as 100. Already starting off pretty well. This is a pretty solid Pokemon. Let's go to 100 because we want to see what it's going to give us at level 75 with that skill trigger S. Because that I think is going to be a big bump in the PR for this Pokemon. But of course it is going to take a whole minute to get there, but... I mean, even if it's only 72, if we were to use a sub skill seed at level 75 to give that skill trigger M, and potentially by the time uh, we get to level 75, skill trigger large might be out. So we may be able to do that as well and maybe end up with an even better PR. Really the only big negative is that ingredient finder at level 100 not the best capstone ability so far we're at 73 and we're probably going to see a drop off at level 100 so 73 pr at level 75 is not bad this is potentially one worth keeping and possibly investing in for a little while um if nothing else for the short term uh, I think it's actually better than the Ralts that we had caught before if we did catch one. I have a vague memory of it not being a very good Ralts. So definitely going to hold on to that one. Go ahead and throw it in the box at level 20. And then I can check into that one a little bit later once uh, I have a little more time to just sit here and stare at the calculator while it figures out what it's doing. Uh, oh, and it just rolled over as soon as I switched. Uh, it actually is a grand total of a PR of 72, so not bad at all. We are going to pick up another 244 Sneaky Snacking. That puts us into Great 3. No, it's just the Great 2 animation again. Never mind, I take it all back. Anyway, let's back it up. Let's go to the main menu. I saw there was some new news. What do we got? Electric type weak bundles, which I believe this will answer my question from earlier uh, since I couldn't remember exactly when it started. Uh, electric type weak bundle. Oh, volume one. Oh, volume one. Interesting that they're calling it volume one. So maybe this will be a recurring event. Uh, the electric type weak and even other uh, type weeks, fire type, water type, so on. We are getting a small, medium, and large bundles that will be available beginning March 11th at 1 a.m. We've prepared some bundles of items such as Pichu Incense, Mareep, and Dedenne Incense. Dedenne Incense is going to be very good. They can help you befriend Electric-type Pokemon. You can use this incense during the event in the various areas where these Pokemon appear to encounter Electric-type Pokemon. Bundle Medium includes Eevee Incense and a Thunderstone, which is good if you want to befriend a Jolteon. 
And then bundle large includes the Dedenne incense. Uh, so it looks like large is probably gonna be the only one with the Dedenne incense, but let's read on and find out. So the small bundle, 250 diamonds, five Poke Biscuits and a Pichu incense. Trash, not even, not even gonna bother with it. Mm, nope, not good for me at all. Don't like that. I don't like that it's only five Poke Biscuits and a Pichu incense, which we can find Pichu and Pikachu pretty easily. It's not, it's not worth it. Uh, medium bundle, 600 diamonds, 10 Poke Biscuits, already starting off not great, but the Eevee incense and the Thunderstone specifically is, the Thunderstone itself is worth quite a bit just because of how many sleep points it takes to buy one. I think it's 1400 sleep points or something like that. So about two weeks worth of 100 sleep scored days. You could buy that on your own to have it from a bundle to where you don't have to use sleep points on it. Could be nice. Eh, this one in a very particular circumstance, I think could be an okay bundle, but I also don't like that it's only Poke Biscuits for the medium bundle. So, you know, y'all know I'm not buying any of these bundles anyway, but just objectively, I don't, even if I were to look at purchasing them, I probably wouldn't get that one. Uh, 1500 diamonds. Eight great biscuits, so that's 1,600 diamonds. With two friend incense, a Dedenne incense, Mareep incense, Handy Candy small times 10, and Dream Cluster small times five. Mmm, that one, maybe just because it has the Dedenne incense, and I feel like Dedenne could be game-changing enough to warrant trying to get as many opportunities to see it as possible. But 1500 diamonds is also a lot of real world money and I don't like that. So yeah, I can't really recommend this one as well. Uh, the Dedenne incense is really the only thing super worthwhile in there. I mean, yeah, the great biscuits will help, but usually there's 10 of them in a bundle and eight just seems kind of low to me. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's uh that's a tough one. Uh hmm. I don't know. That one's not too bad, I guess. I, I think that one's actually more useful than the medium bundle simply because it has the Dedenne incense. But that's really the only thing that's jumping out is like super good to me. The great biscuits are alright, the rest of it is just kind of okay. So mm, take that for what you will. Uh, then this just explains what the incense do. We all know by now that the incense attracts the Pokemon that it is meant for. And yeah, set up the incense by using the stump at camp. So good, good to know. One thing that we didn't do yesterday was grab the diamonds from making the Calm Mind Fruit Salad. Let's get those. And then let's back up and see what the community reports look like today. Is there gonna be 42 of them? That's my guess, 42, 41, with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 that doubled up out of 41. Not bad at all. So that's uh, a little over 33%, I believe. There is one level up, level two, for an ingredient ticket small times one. Very nice. I feel like I've had all of these friends for so long. I'm very surprised that we only got to uh, level two just now. That is one skill trigger and plenty of oil, which is good because somebody was slacking on oil yesterday and someone was slacking even harder on mushrooms yesterday. I ended up, uh, I didn't make the spore mushroom salad a single time yesterday because they just were not giving me the ingredients I needed. And you, so that's, Three for three, Gengar triggered, right? Yeah, three for three, not bad. Some extra ingredients to go in there. I did accidentally collect from these two yesterday, just, I guess I zoned out and just collected from everybody. So they may, okay, nope, no skill triggers. They may have had a skill trigger, but it doesn't look like they did. And then we can go ahead and get into cooking. I think we are going to, I know we said I said that we're gonna go for the spore mushroom salad, but I think since we have the ingredients and Lapis is really uh, giving us a hard time, I think we're gonna go for the slowpoke tail pepper salad this time. 
that'll give us a chance to stock up a few more uh, meals worth of what we need for the what is it spore mushroom salad that one that's the one outside of the oil we will use some oil for this but it's a it's a good trade-off I think plus this will give us a nice little boost since it is one of the better recipes to kind of make up for the breakfast we missed on Monday so this will be really good hopefully hopefully we can get at least 13,000 out of it okay 14,789 yeah that's pretty good nice little bump that does put it at level 23 and we'll hopefully push us into grade three I didn't see exactly where we left off on our progress to grade three uh oh no probably won't yep so it puts us about two-thirds just shy of two-thirds of the way to grade three so we've got a long way ahead of us but at this point the Dedenne would be unlocked if it were here so we can sort of rest easy like we still want to push further and get more drowsy power because that does mean more chances for the Dedenne to spawn and getting it on a Wednesday it's not too bad I'm kind of kind of thinking that we may be all right but I do want to see how the rest of this week goes before I really determine if it's going to be worthwhile to come back to Lapis for the Dedenne Overall, though, it's been pretty rough. I think uh, having salads really, really hindered our progress this week. It's been difficult. Like I said, I didn't even get the spore mushroom salad a single time yesterday because Toxicroak and Gengar were just slacking on their ingredients. Um, it didn't help that we missed breakfast on Monday either. Um, yeah, it's just not been a fantastic week but on the plus side when we do end this week we'll get another five percent that'll put us at uh, i believe it's 15 percent for the island bonus here and when i look into that curlia further if it's worth uh evolving it into a gardevoir that might also help quite substantially that was the wrong one i meant to go check the curlia just to make sure it could even evolve into a gardevoir because i forget how the uh how the gender rules work with Gardevoir all the time. Okay, it can evolve into both. And it's only three levels away, so that's not bad. This could be worth investing in. Yeah, this Ralts was not as good. Same ingredient spread. Um, funny enough, actually had some pretty decent sub skills, just not the best. And level 75 and 100 are not great. But now that we have that in the game, I need to go ahead and recalculate that one too. Uh, and this, it actually doesn't matter, but this is a female Ralt, so definitely could go into a Gardevoir. But it seems like both male and female can evolve into Gardevoir, and maybe male is the male only for Gallade. Which we're not worried about Gallade. Not for a while. So... Got some things to look into. Hopefully the rest of this week goes pretty smoothly comparatively. Uh, we will determine later on if it's gonna be worth sticking around for Dedenne. But that said, that is what I've got for today. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you wanna see more. And until next time, later dudes.